What's up guys, welcome in and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are completely new, hello, I'm Sincerely Nico. In today's video, we're gonna be creating this look using Lunar Beauty's new palette, the Eternal Eclipse. So I'm going to be using the Eternal Eclipse in today's look. I know the Eternal Eclipse doesn't have any reds or any duochrome pinks and blues in here. It's because I also used a sister palette, the Strawberry Dream, to also create a introverted look. So if you guys are interested on how I created this look using the new palette from Manny MUA and also one of his most coveted and loved palette, the Strawberry Dream, together, then definitely keep on watching this video. But before we get into it, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and join me here on YouTube where I post videos every Tuesday and Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join me here on YouTube, be a part of the EXO Squad. We get lit on this side of YouTube. And let's go ahead and jump on into this video. <laughs> All right, so before we get into it, I want to give you guys a little bit of background, a little bit of history about the palette, the price, etc., etc., just in case you guys are eager to order it. This palette went live on Sunday, so if you guys have not had a chance to run over to Lunar Beauty to purchase it, please go do so if you guys are interested in buying this and have not seen any reviews, or if you have seen some reviews but you're interested in seeing how it works on a deeper complexion and I'm the one to help you with that, then definitely go over there and get this palette because I definitely strongly recommend getting it. The retail price for the Eternal Eclipse eyeshadow palette, which has a total of 15 shades in a large mirror, retails for the price of $48. Honestly, for that price point, it is a steal. So there are some brands higher, and there are some brands lower. So honestly, I feel like this is in right. This is in a perfect cushion area as far as the price point go. You get a huge huge mirror in here to be able to glam up and do what you have to do on the go if this is your travel palette if you decide to go with the cool tones honestly manny's formula for shadows are impeccable they blend like a dream and they're very pigmented you will see both palettes in work so this is also the sister palette which is a strawberry dreams i did do a look using this already on my channel but i decided to bring her back out of the closet and pair her with her sister just to kind of create this introverted look here that I have on. I also wanted to tip over and grab the Moon Spell palette. This is also a pretty palette as well too. If you guys didn't get this, it's also a 15 pan palette as well too with a large mirror. This was for Halloween 2019 time. So yeah. This is also a pretty palette as well, too, if you guys can get your hands on that. The only palette I don't have is the Goddess palette, um, but I do have the Life of Drag palette, which is also back here as well, too. So this is the Life of Drag palette. This is also a pretty palette as well, too. I didn't use the brush because I have plenty of brushes, so the brushes are still in there, but I did use the palette. This is also a pretty palette as well, too. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. This is 14, and the mirror is a little bit more smaller than the other ones, but this is also a pal pretty palette this was his first palette that he launched for his brand as you can see the logo has definitely changed over the period of time the logo definitely that's the original lunar beauty logo and then on the top of this one is a new lunar beauty logo so the logo for the company has definitely evolved and you can definitely see the growth in manny's brand over the period of time with the palettes Honestly, I feel like his formula is impeccable. They blend like a dream. Just need a great shadow base underneath for my melanin queens and queens out there. Uh, for those who just use a uh, creamy concealer, go a little more brighter if possible so that you guys can really get the pigment to pay off on the lid. Um, another thing that was supposed to come in the PR package but they're delayed is the eyeshadow brushes. Um, the eyeshadow brush set, which is $35, it was supposed to come with the PR, but it's delayed as of right now because of manufacturer. Um, he is getting his stuff from another country, so it was delayed. But I do have the lip gloss and the liquid lipstick that I also going to be reviewing on the channel. The lip gloss retails for $17. It's in the shade called Aura. I actually have that on. And then also the liquid lipstick in Zaya. 
which retails for $18. I also have that on as well, too. These are some impeccable glosses. Honestly, his glosses, I'm missing one. Where is it? Oh. Um, His glosses are bomb. His glosses are bomb. Then I have three of the liquid lipsticks that he has in his collection or his, his, his skews of products. The first shade I'm gonna swatch, of course, is the shade Wicked. And it came out with the Moon Spell Palette, a pure black liquid lipstick. Can't go wrong with that. Then we have Witch Bitch, which is that red shade. It is a really deep blue tone red. And then Zaya, which is the newest one or a reintroduction one, because this came out with the Goddess Collection, I think. And that is Zaya. So here are swatches of the liquid lipsticks that I do have from Manny NEA Winter Beauty. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on into the demo of me doing one of the eyes in introvert style. Um, Advice for up and coming influencer. Mm, don't be afraid to start your page or your channel no matter what you are or what you're doing I'm putting on a little bit of the milk makeup this is the Kush Glaze Lip Glaze Kush Lip Glaze don't be afraid to start your channel or your page no matter what tools you have so if you're using an iPhone to record or take photos use your iPhone record, take photos, upload them um, it, the thing is to be consistent and be active. I'm not as consistent as I want to be because I do have a full-time job and a part-time job and I do influencing on the side. So technically I really have three jobs. But be active, um, post as much as you can, use the tools and the, uh, what is it? Use your tools that you have currently. Don't be afraid to do that. Um, don't go out and try to buy the most expensive camera and put yourself in debt and not even get on YouTube or Instagram or even post on social media um, because you don't feel like you're at your best. Um, do, do it now. Get comfortable being in front of a camera using your iPhone. Get comfortable being a camera, you know what I'm saying, using your tools you have available in front of you so that when you do elevate and you do upgrade to a better camera, to a better studio quality, better lighting, it's not a hard adjustment. It's easier. It's like you can literally just jump right on into it. Like, I started posting five years ago, like, random makeup looks using my iPhone 6. Um... And then now I have like a whole production studio situation because I invested into this because I knew that this is something that I wanted to make revenue from and make a career, potentially make a career if it were to blow up. Even if I don't become some top beauty guru, just having my name out there and just having, you know, content out there that people can go to and refer to and look at is something that I want to like leave my legacy with or leave behind on this world is that I put something out as far as education and knowledge for someone to actually go back and look and learn from it. So that's that. Um, okay, so I'm doing a inverted look. I wanna do like a cool tone cut crease with a colorful pop lid. I think I'm gonna do this bottom row or this top row that you guys see these all these blues here as my crease color and then do these colors on my lid and then I wanna flip it um, depending on the colors that I use, which will probably be like something that's harmonic as far as color story goes. So I think I'm going to do like the blues in this one, and then I'm going to do the reds and pinks and purples in this one on the lid. Like my advice is not like the best. I'm not going to say it was like spot on for you. <laughs> start somewhere and don't be afraid to start with what you got pretty much. And don't look at other people's numbers. Because your race is not the same as their race. Where they are is not where you should be. You get what I'm saying? Like, everybody has their time. Everybody has their season. I have friends who started out but behind me and surpassed me. It's because they had a certain je ne sais quoi. They had something that really made them stand out more than me. And they grew faster than me. But that's perfectly fine. But what they don't have is experience. And... 
not to throw shade at them for that is it is what it is like i have experience of weighing it out and thugging it out without sponsorship deals and stuff like that and they come to me for that like that type of advice and etc cetera, etc cetera. and i you know being friends i provide and i give it to them and help them like navigate in the industry but at the end of the day i know that i'm going to prevail with the longer, better longevity, running my own race and not running it against somebody else's race. So that's what I have to say for those who want to be influencers. Don't look at the big the big wigs and expect to be where they are within the same time frame they, they got. Just do what you have to do. Guard your mental. Um, yeah, this brown shade is pretty. Uh, do what you have to do as far as your mental capacity. Don't overstress yourself because you're not at 10K. You're not at, you know, 5K or 1K or et cetera, et cetera. And your friends are like blowing up and et cetera, et cetera, like talk to them, ask them for advice. Um, don't be afraid to talk to them and ask them, what did you do to get to where you are? Like teach me like how to use better hashtags, teach me how to use Facetune better, teach me, like I see you're doing this type of content, what are you doing to get this type of content to look the way it is? Like tell me, like don't be afraid to ask your friends who you're, you can confide in and you can talk to to be able to help you get to the level that you want to achieve. Because um, like my mom always said, closed mouths don't get fed. Um, but yeah, my mom always said, closed mouths don't get fed. So if you feel like your friend is doing something that you could do and you can confide in them and ask them for help, ask them. Don't be afraid to ask them. I mean, if, if, your, friends, if your friends are truly friends, there shouldn't be, there shouldn't be no payment. There shouldn't be no, oh, well, girl, if you want to learn how to use Final Cut Pro, pay $30. It shouldn't be that. That person's not a friend. So I'm going to go into this shade called Earth Bender, which is a more mudded brown, more mudded color brown. And I'm using a Morphe M507 brush. It's one of my favorite brushes to really get into the crease and blend and buff. And Sephora Squad was, was a journey. I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say I had the most pleasant time being a part of Sephora Squad. There were moments where I did enjoy the company and people in the organization and in the group, but I still felt very secluded as a as the only and I will emphasize only the only black male MUA that was in Sephora Squad last year. I very much felt out of place. Um because I didn't have anybody to relate to, if you get what I'm saying. Like, of course, I have people I can relate to about makeup and talk about makeup. Makeup is makeup, but talking about my personal struggles and talking about things that I have to overcome and what could I do to better myself as an influencer on this community, I didn't have anybody within Sephora and within Sephora Squad that could help navigate me, a younger influencer, to get better quality, better content, better sponsorship deals, better brands, more brands, et cetera, et cetera. I didn't have someone that looks like me that resonated with my, my spiritual yoke to talk about things like that. And it was very disheartening that out of the seven boys, black boys that auditioned and tried out, I was the only one that made it past. Now, granted, I guess I can say I'm creme de la creme, the cream of the crop, compared to everyone else that auditioned and tried out. But at the end of the day, I just feel like, you know, they could have added one extra seat to make me or another black male feel at ease. Because no one looked like me at, at, at these events. No one looked like me at these events. And I just, I, I had to, I had to pull my big girl panties up and I had to do my job, but I just can't sit there and mope and cry about not having another boy of color in the organization with me. I just literally had to do what I had to do and perform, pump out the content, give them what they want and go about my business. At the end of the day, when my contract ended, I'm, I'm still by myself. It's okay that you're gonna break the glass ceiling. 
because technically I broke the glass ceiling with Sephora Squad being the first black boy. And of course, you know, after I left, three more came in after me, which is very, 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 very great for them to, to add more into the roster. But you have to understand, like, when we come into these spaces and we come into the room, especially with beauty, within the beauty community, there's not a lot of black people there. It is very much white dominated. No shade to all my white followers. I do apologize, but it is what it is. It's the truth. The beauty industry is very much white dominated. And then when we come into these spaces, you guys don't know how to, a lot of these big wigs don't know how to interact with black creators. And that's an issue because we're all seeking the same end results as our counterparts. We're just different. And then we have to go out our way to put some type of spin on it to get, how can I say, um, magnitude or movement within our community. We have to be these comedic people on, on social media or we have to do a joke or a look or a hook or pop in memes or be a meme in order for us to become famous when we have talent from the beginning. And some of these big wigs don't know how to deal with us or manage us or direct us in the right direction as if they were to do a, a, another different type of counterparts. Now, I know I really don't want to be so racially charged about this on my live, but it's the truth. It's the truth. Like, prime example, and it's no shade. I did a video with Sephora on their YouTube channel, and it was a video where me and another counterpart, which is, oh, she was a Caucasian woman, um, we did a two looks, one palette. If you look at the time that she had doing her tutorial and the time that I had doing my tutorial, her tutorial took up the majority of the video where mine was only like cut short and it was like, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Here's Nico look. But it was like, oh, well, she's doing this and she's doing that and she's doing this and she's doing that. That's unfair. Truth, truth be told, that's unfair. It's, it's very much unfair for one person to get the majority of the time of the video and another person to get only a snippet and then cut towards the end, don't even see him apply liner or lashes, and then boom, he's completely done at the end of the video. I was very taken back by that video, but at the same time, I was there to perform and I was there to do what I had to do. You have like, as a black content creator, you have to go out there, you have to seek brands and Brands that are willing to work with you, you have to find those first before you even try to like reach out to brands and reach out to companies that want to work with you. You have to look for those brands that are willing to work with black content creators because we are, we're different. I'm just gonna let it go. All right, so my crease is cut. So I'm gonna go into the Strawberry Dreams palette and I'm gonna use these four shades here from this dark purple to this light pink. I think I want to put a shimmer on there as well too, so I'm, I might throw in a shimmer. I'm going to start off with Strawberry Moon, which is like this deep aubergine purple. And I'm going to tuck this right into the crease. And I'm using Morphe M124 brush. What's your favorite Holy Grail product? My favorite Holy Grail product that I love. Ooh, you're really trying to, you're really trying to get me. Um, favorite holy grail. A product that I will constantly buy no matter what, even though I'm on PR, is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. I would say that's my favorite holy grail. Because I will I will buy that no matter what. Like no matter what the season is, I will always buy uh a Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. So I'm going in with Sunset, which is like that pinky red shade. And again, I'm gonna tuck that into my crease and then pat it onto the lid. And then I'm gonna go in with Sunrise, which is just like this orange, orangish red, blood red shade. Again, tucking it into the crease. And then we're gonna take Skyline, which is that bright pink. Take the ABH Dip Liner.
And I want to pop a shimmer. So I'm going to take Sweet Dreams, which is like this pink shimmer out the, the Luna Beauty Strawberry Palette. And I want to just kind of like tap that on the lid. I should have done this before the liner, but hey, it's like, all right. So literally just cut that, cut my um shadow a little bit. And then I'm just tapping in the concealer around my eye shape just to kind of dull down that shadow and make it more rounded shape. As you guys saw, it was really like sharp and elongated. And then I'm, I'm rounding it out now with the concealer. All right, guys, so I'm back. Lashes are on. Let's go ahead and jump into some lip swatches of the new Liquid Lip and the Lip Gloss from Luna Beauty. All right, so I have three Liquid Lipsticks from Manny MUA Luna Beauty. I have the shade Wicked and Witch Bitch from his Spellbound, Moonbound, Moon, Spell, Moon. So I have two of his uh, liquid lipsticks from his Moon Spell collection. Um, I did review those on my channel prior to the new one or reintroduced back into the circulation is the shade Zadea. Z Zaya? Zaya. Zaya. I'm sorry. Zaya. I'm confused. Zaya. And then I have five of his glosses. I have Dreamy, Celine, Moon, Starlight, and then the new one is Aura. I'm going to go ahead and pop on Aura first as is so you guys can see it on my skin tone full out. No lip liner by the way. This is pretty, very milky, very nude. I actually would wear this as is with a liner maybe. It's really cute. This is really cute. And mind you, this is the shade Aura. All right, so we're gonna try out uh, Zaya on its own. All right, so overall thought of the palette, honestly, it fits right on in with the Strawberry Dream palette. I did forget to mention about his blush palette. I do have his blush palettes, and I do also have some of his highlighters as well, too. Just to say that I do have a couple of many MUA products collectively to create somewhat of a look when it comes down to artistry. I do have his highlighter in the shade Jupiter on, and I did use a little bit of his blush in the shade gravity in the front um, and then I use the blush binder from the crayon case for the rest of my blusher look just to let you guys know what I have on my face but overall I think that the brand itself is evolving and I definitely am proud to be a part and to see the evolution of Luna Beauty I think that Manny is definitely taking his brand to a great place he has a great a range of assortments of products to be able to give everyone something within each palette from the moon spell having a lot of greens and purples to the strawberry dreams being very colorful with a lot of neon colors like the neon blue and also those pop of pinks and those shimmers then all the way to the eclipse palette eternal eclipse palette where it's more cool tone but it's also neutral at the same time so it gives you neutral looks for daytime with the cool tones to smoke it out and get that grunge vibe towards the end of the night or nighttime because you know it is the lunar eclipse eclipse eternal eclipse eclipping clip clip he has a great range of palettes starting from the life's a drag all the way to now so i definitely am glad to be a part of the evolution of luna beauty and be on their PR list to be able to try out the products and give you guys my personal thoughts and reviews. And if you guys have not already been over to LunaBeauty.com to pick up or probably place in your cart to think about getting this palette, I say definitely get it. 
if you don't have the strawberry dream palette i definitely strongly recommend getting the strawberry dream palette um those two definitely pair together like i said i created this look using both of them uh, both of those palettes i will be creating a look using only solely the uh, eternal eclipse palette in another video just to kind of give a round in depth of the cool tones to see how they work on deeper complexion but as far as the browns in that palette those browns are blessed those browns are blessed blessed period so i'm gonna go ahead and hop off of here i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did make sure you guys hit that subscribe button join me here on youtube be a part of the exo squad we're almost getting to our goal, which is 5,000. We need almost 600 of you guys to be there. Almost 600, less than 600. So we're getting there. We're getting there. And I would love for you guys to help me get to, the, to that goal by subscribing if you guys enjoyed my content. Again, I post videos every Tuesday and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So definitely check me out here. I'm going to go ahead and hop off with this camera and finish my din din. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace. I like me one thing. Ever since I left the city.